Word on the street, Sharika Jackson is moving back down to the 400. Here's why that's a big deal. Guys, what's going on, man? Y'all already know what it is. Track coach K-Ray, Relax Athletics, back with another video. Sharika Jackson, 200 meter world champion, 100 meter silver medalist. Her primary event prior to 2021 was the 400 meter dash. 2021, 2022, she focused on the 100 meters. She got her PR down to 1071 in the 100 and 2145 in the 200. She is the second fastest woman all time in the 200 meters, only behind Florence Griffith Joyner. Why is it a big deal that she may be moving back up to the 400? I'll explain. Keeping the world record of the women's 400 meter dash in mind, we have to go back to 1985. Marita Koch of the German Democratic Republic the GDR or East Germany, back when Germany was divided um, into two sections. Um, Marita Koch ran the 400 meter dash in 47.60 seconds. Uh, since then, no other woman has ran the 400 meter dash under 48. Uh, there have only been two women to run the 400 meter dash in under 48 seconds. Cock being one of them. The reason Sharika Jackson moving back up to the 400 is a big deal is because this world record has been standing since 1985. That's uh, 38 years. Who is going to break it? Let's do a comparison between Rita Cock and Sharika Jackson. Sharika Jackson has PRs in 100 of 10.71, 21.45. Marita Cock has PRs in 100 of 10.83 and 21.71. In terms of short sprints, Jackson is by far the superior athlete, has a higher speed reserve. But these PRs wasn't the case the last time Sharika Jackson ran the 400 meters. Sharika Jackson has a 400 meter PR of 49.47 seconds that she set at the Doha World Championships in 2019. If we look at what she ran in the 100 meters in 2019 when she set her, um, when she set her 400 meter PR, her season's best in 2019 was 11.30. Her personal best was 11.1, set the year prior in 2018. If we look at her 200 meter personal best in 2019, her best 200 was 22.05, set in 2018. Her season's best of the 200 that year, I don't know if that's correct, but uh, oh, okay, that was, it was ran in January. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. She didn't run a lot of 200s in 2019. So we'll just roll with her PR in, uh, from 18, 2205. She's hadn't, she hadn't broke 21 seconds in the 200 yet when she ran her PR of 49.4. The reason why I compare uh, Sharika Jackson to Marita Cott is because with Sharika Jackson's current speed reserve, meaning that she can run 10.7 consistently in the 100, she can run sub 21.7 consistently in the 200. Sharika Jackson now has the speed reserve to make a legit push for uh, the women's 400 meter world record. That is why it's a big deal that she is going, uh, if if the reports coming out of Jamaica are true, um, it is a big deal if she is moving back up to the 400. I feel as if, now I don't know, I haven't talked to her coaches, obviously I'm nobody. I think her coaches made a her and her coaches both made a collaborative decision. This is just me thinking that in order for her to like seriously go after that world record or seriously be dominant in the 400, she had to have go come down and focus on the short sprints to build her speed reserve up so that she has more speed um, in the tank to attack the 400. If we are looking at Marita Cox splits uh, per 100 meters for uh her 47.60 world record she went she covered the first 100 in 11.3 she covered uh the first 200 in 22.4 she came through 300 meters at 34.1 so what i mean by speed is essential when it comes to running the 400 meters effectively and fast for the average sprinter for the average female sprinter who has never ran under 22 seconds in the open 200 before Running or well, covering the first 200 in 
22.4 for them they're essentially going all out whereas cop running 21.7 if she covers 22 she covers the first 222.4 that's fast absolutely but is she all out sprinting absolutely not so she has enough strength on the back end of the race to still be effective um 22.4 for the first 200 for sharika jackson currently with a keep in mind Rita cox pr was 21.7 22.4 or 22.5 the first 200 for sharika jackson when her pr is 21.4 that's a whole second slower she is chilling not literally but she is jogging to come in at 21 to come in at 22.4 22.5 for the first 200 training correctly jackson will still have enough strength to um to close under world record pace she has gotten extremely fast, way faster than what she was the last time that she comp uh, that she contested a 400 meter dash at a global event. Um, this is this is scary hours, man. This is scary hours. But speed reserve in terms of the 400 meters is the name of the game. So if you're comparing um, Sharika Jackson up to 2019 to Marita Cock, Marita Cock like by far one of the greatest sprinters like ever. Marita Cock is like. If you look at what she's done, 50, 60, 100, 200, 400, like she had the range to go all the way down to the short sprints to go all the way up to the long sprints. Like that's, that's rare. You don't see that. Um, and in order for somebody to legit challenge her world record, like I said, it hadn't been challenged for like seriously challenged in almost 40 years. Nobody has ran under 48 seconds since, since she did it in 85. So in order for an athlete to legit challenge that record, they have to have the speed on the front end in order to do it. And Sharika Jackson now has that. So if Sharika Jackson is, in fact, considering going back up to the 400 meter, which I, I hope she does, like, man, it's going it's 2023 going to be crazy, man. 2023 and 2024 is going to be crazy. Um, I kind of want to focus on the women's 400 meter world record. For a couple of videos, I'm probably going to throw some other stuff in. Um, but I want to talk about Sharika Jackson. I want to talk about Sidney McLaughlin, um, even Shawnee Miller-Weebo. Um, but yeah, we're going we gonna to get into that. You guys let me know in the comments what you guys think. Um, do you want to see Sharika Jackson move back up to the 400 after what she's done the past two seasons? Taking her PR from 11-1 down to 10-7 because that's a huge drop. Taking her PR from 22-0 down to 21.4 that is a seismic drop like that that's moving going from 22.0 to 21.4 she putting in work does jackson have a legit shot of breaking the world record i honestly believe she does and this is a huge hot take um but after what carson warholm did in the uh, tokyo olympics anything is possible i feel as if sharika jackson can go uh sub 47 I personally believe Sharika Jackson can go 46. That's my hot take of the day. You guys in the comment section, let me know what you guys think. Track Coach K-Ray, Relax Athletics. Until the next upload, y'all take it easy, man.